Jason Rasidlo reporting from the uh, 2011 SAE World Congress and I'm being joined by Tom Brown from uh, GM R&D Center. So these are the new uh, GM ENV. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, the MV vehicles are uh, vehicles that we built uh, to run in the uh, World Expo in Shanghai, China in 2010. Uh, these vehicles have done their tour duty in, in that venue. Uh, they ran for six months uh, straight uh, between uh, May 1st and, uh, and October 30th of last year. Um, we basically built these to demonstrate the potential uh, technology of having V2V technologies in a vehicle, V2I technologies, which is vehicle to infrastructure, and V2V is vehicle to vehicle, uh, obviously. Um, and also to demonstrate the uh, ability to, to run autonomously using these technologies. Okay. Can we talk about the type of engine inside there? Well, it, it's running on a uh, chassis that uh, GM contracted with Segway to, uh, to develop for us. Um, it, it runs on DC motors. There's four DC motors underneath there. Uh, two redundant systems, so if you can imagine, there's almost two segways underneath of here to run in case there's a failure. Uh, one of the others, you know, the, the other system can take over and uh, the machine can still be operated safely. Go ahead, so tell me about this display here. Okay, so we have a display here. We call that our HMI unit, and uh, basically this is our infotainment and internet uh, services, uh, things that uh, you might be able to access while the vehicle is in autonomous mode uh, when the, the driver ha doesn't have to drive the vehicle. Uh, we have a camera here. Uh, this camera is basically f focused on the occupants of the vehicle. We have a camera here. This is forward-facing camera and it's viewing you know the, the what the driver or the occupants of the vehicle are, are looking at uh, and what these give the, uh, the give you the ability to do is if a, a family had uh, a set of these vehicles uh, say the mother and father were in the lead vehicle and you had the children in the other vehicle and maybe uh, some other family members you know sister-in-law brother-in-law whatever uh, they could be in a third vehicle and all the vehicles can communicate with one another and talk to one another and and you can also view View them, you know, on the video screen, showing, uh, you know, their faces and and listen to their conversations and you know interact back and forth. So you can still maintain that family unit, uh, just as if you were in a normal vehicle or a van or something of that nature. Uh, the HMI display also uh, can stream internet content, you know, like Pandora Radio or um, or you know any of the streaming media services uh, or movies or anything of that nature. You could read, you know, books, much like a tablet PC is uh, capable of doing today. Um, you know, obviously we're we're doing this stuff uh, just to show the the concept of it. Uh, it is actually functional on on all of our vehicles, uh, but we we're just not demonstrating it here today. What's the fuel economy on one of these? Uh, well, it doesn't run on fuel, it's battery powered, uh, but um, the vehicle can operate uh, basically at 25 miles an hour and it can run for about 25 miles. So since it is battery powered, how long would it take to charge it? Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, depending on the state of charge, uh, it, can, it can take anywhere between two hours and six hours to, to recharge the vehicle. Now you said this was in uh, China. Now, is there any chance it might be coming here to the U.S.? Well, GM's, you know, looking at uh, potential uh, uh, future endeavors with, uh, with something of this nature. But uh, I, I'm not really in a position to, to say at this time if we are or not. What, do, what is the cost of one of these? Uh, GM's projecting the cost of this vehicle uh, somewhere around $10,000 if we start mass producing them. So this is basically like a one-person vehicle? Uh, two people. It can haul two people. Does it also have room for storage? Like if someone wants to go to the grocery store? Uh, absolutely. If we if we were to manufacture something like this, there would be some limited space to, to store stuff. But it's really about urban mobility, and it's about you know transporting people, not necessarily you know groceries and all these things. But absolutely, there would be provisions for something. Um, any other comments while we're still here? Uh, no, it's just been uh, uh, really exciting and uh, a lot of fun to, to represent these uh, on GM's behalf. Okay, thank you. Thank you.